You know that's our design. To want to be what the Lord is. All of us in this transitory world in which we live have already came to the resolution that this world is not our home. We're merely frequent travel, traveling through a barren land. And we ultimately know that the grave is not our final resting place. And that we want to be where the Lord is. And I, I commend you today. I commend and submit today. Don't live life and miss out on the greatest opportunity and blessing that God has given us. That is to be able to be what Jesus is. An old preacher told us one time, he said, all of us are going to go to heaven. But all of us won't be able to stay. It'll be a sad occasion to find out that you lived in hell all of your life and then died and then went to hell. That's a tragedy to have been able to know that Jesus died on an old rugged cross for your sins and mine and then neglected to live in accordance to the will and word of God there are so many people right now that don't want the preacher to tell them what's right make lame excuses about how he living if he ain't living right he going to hell too if he going to hell, do you think I want to go with him? No. That don't make sense to me. If you really want to know how to live, get in God's word. Go to Bible study. Go to Sunday school. Find out what God is saying in his word. You don't want to take the word of the preacher. Then go find out for yourself. But stop trying to play the blame game. Blaming it on some Lord who would never to die for your sins. Christ died for your sins. Let's get it real. It's just true. Play, play, play with God if you want. Keep playing. If you play with God, your children will play with God. It won't just get you. It'll destroy your own family stories. That's why I loved about our parents. They were some great personalities. Oh yeah. Some of those parents made their way out to the house of prayer and didn't have nothing but a prayer. Didn't have much, but they knew they needed God. See, they saw some atrocities. They saw the vestiges of slavery and inequality like you never saw. And they needed Jesus. Somehow the devil has cosmetically covered up the inequalities and caused you to think they look good. And in reality, it is as worse now as it was then. But you become dull of hearing the word of God. To sense and understand the vital need to make him an active part of your life. 
and you'll find yourself dying and going to a burning hill. That's that is not the message that I want to share today. Although it's as relevant as what I will share. We got to learn how to worship and praise God. I'm hoarse from all week long and the week before because I intend to give God my all. Amen. I'm a horse, but I still have a God that's an able God. Anybody know he's able to do We have a God that's able to keep us from falling. Though the world is in disarray, God is able. Amen. Y'all know I, I was revitalized this week. I had an opportunity to go to our Congress of Christian Education. Amen. All week long. Yeah. You know, some of y'all get tired of church. I've learned to embrace it. Yeah. Everything that good that happened to me yeah. happened to me at church. Yes, sir. I hear some of y'all talking about when you went to church, people did you wrong. Yeah. But you're living in a world where people will do you in. Yes, Well, I can deal with the isms and schisms of church. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah. I ain't got no problem about you talking about me. They talked about Jesus. Yes, sir. And I know I'm not any better than the Lord. Yeah. So when I come to church, amen, I already know that we're not on the same level of, of maturity. Yes, amen. In God's word. So I know some people. Amen. We'll talk about you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah. But I, I heard an old song that said, talk about me as much as you please. Oh, yes, the more you talk, yes, the more I'm going to be in yes, my knees. Yes, yeah. So I've learned how to be flexible yes. when it comes to people talking. Yes. Amen. 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 My example taught me that. Yes, sir. Yes. See, if I can just keep my eyes on Jesus yes, sir. Yes, sir. and Him Amen. Only yeah. that I just believe I can run yeah. this race. Yes, sir. And I have to, amen, linger away from the house of prayer. Yeah. There is a word this morning yeah. found in Matthew 5, 13 through 20. I might not read them all, but I like to first give an honor and praise to God, who is the head of all of our lives. Oh, yes. uh, to God, our Father, God Jehovah, yes. Yahweh is His sacred name. Yes. To my brother, my elder brother, Jesus the Christ, yes. the Son of the Living God. Yes. And then to the Holy Spirit. Yes. The Spirit of God, my comforter, my keeper, my protector, my teacher, my God. I thank God for them and him. To the pastors, Pastor Lovelace, Evangelist Jackson, Evangelist Elliot, Amen. To Reverend Levy, Reverend Bird. Yes. to the ministry in the form of our women ministry. Yes, Amen. Minister Alice Lovelace. Yes. Minister Murdy Levy. Yes. Amen. To all of the ministers that are not here. Yes, Amen. To the officers, yes. members, yes. visitors, and friends. I'd hate to leave out my brother-in-law. Well, Reverend Robert Lee. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes, but I thought I included him when I said Minister Lee. Amen. 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 And then to these mothers. Well, happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now it's a happy day. Yes, sir. For some mothers. Yeah. But then there are some mothers. Amen. Who 
know their mother is going on. And it's not as happy. But it's happy when you think about it. What mom has gone. And that is to be with the Lord. And that's something happy to shout about. Then their mothers, amen, who are struggling with their uh, undisciplined children. Who bring them grief and turmoil at all times. It's a challenge. Amen. Amen. Then when you look at a corrupt society, so they will arrest your wayward child. Yes. Beat him or her down. Yes. And even kill him. You got something to grieve about. Yes. So I'd still say happy Mother's Day. Yes. Because God has blessed you to be very, very special. Yes. He wouldn't have said it was special. Uh -huh. He would have said it's a curse. But it is through her sins and I, that we now have mothers. And I am so thankful for it. Amen. It talks about Job saying that a man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. So every man that is created came through a woman. Are y'all there yet? Amen. There you'll find these words. Very familiar passage of scripture. It says, ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its sake, what would shall it be salt? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of me. Ye are the light of the world, a city that sit on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick and give it light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before me, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. I want to stop there. I want to talk from this subject matter. I want to talk to the mothers and fathers. But I want to say, embrace who you are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Embrace who you are. Yes, sir. We live in a time of confusion where people don't know who they really are. They don't even know what side they're on. They got this old slogan that says blood is thicker than water. Yeah. And they try to align themselves with family members. That's right. Trying to say if it's right or wrong. But it is not your selection of family. My brother used to tell me, hey man, you can choose your friends. That's right. But you can't choose your family. That's right. Yeah. That's right. They've been already selected for you. Amen. But just because a person is in your biological family doesn't mean that they're any good. That's right. I want to say that again. Come on, preach Just because a person has the same last name that you have doesn't mean that they have your characteristics and behavior. Amen. Character and behavior aligned. Amen. It doesn't come in your DNA. It comes through, amen, your ability to reason, decide, and make decisions. Yes, Amen. Used to a long time ago, if you had a certain last name, amen, it was not a good name. People would say, <laughs> Your folk ain't no good. They're assuming that because your folk wasn't any good, <laughs> you wasn't no good. <laughs> but I found in life that's not always the case. It was asked, can any good come out of Nazareth? Y'all don't understand. 
understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Jesus, because he was born in Nazareth, yeah. amen, should have been maybe a low down. Come on now. Daddy conniving personality, but God allowed him on, uh, to be reared in Nazareth. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. The savior of the world. Yeah. The bright and morning star. Yeah. Amen. The one that would live a perfect life came through Nazareth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now that ought to excite somebody. Yes, sir. Amen. That somebody has told you ain't no good. Yes, Hello, somebody. Yes, you don't become what people say you are unless, amen, you believe what they tell. Amen. See, in life, you have to embrace who you really are. That's right. That's right. Amen. You know, I told you the story about the eagle that was raised with chickens. Uh -huh. Amen. And, and when he hats out, he hats out with, amen, chicklets. And he would go around the yard and get up under the hen just like all the other chicklets. Yeah. But one day a traveler came by right. and saw this eagle, amen, pe pecking corn off the ground with other young chicks and he told the farmer that that ain't no that ain't no chicken and, and the farmer said I, I knew he looked strange cause he bigger than all of them but, 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 but what was happening was the eaglet didn't know because the eaglet hung around chicklets yes sir Sometimes in life, you could be hanging around some folk, amen, that does not measure the stature of what God has intended for you to be. And you are act just like them, even though God has given you more of what you need to be just like him. Yes, sir. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You have to embrace well, who you are. Well, oh, but one day that man took that eaglet out and that farmer had told him, he said, all you got to do is take him on a high hill <laughs> and throw him out over the hill and you watch. The farmer did just like the man said, threw this eaglet out and that eagle opened its wing for the first time and soared. And what he done, he circled around, amen, the hen house. Amen. He looked down on the other chicklets that had wings and could not fly. And the farmer watched him as he flew out of sight. Well, well. Never to return. <laughs> because I tell you, if he returned again, yeah. he wouldn't have flown down to pick up grain on the ground. <laughs> he said that the eagle has the ability, amen, to fly in the midst of a storm. And the eyesight to see through the shadows of vegetation That's right. to see its prey right. and swoops down at almost 50 to 60 miles an hour right. and has the claws to grab whatever it sees. Right. Amen. Amen. He ain't no joke. No. He's a bird of prey. Yes, amen. amen. But hanging around chicklets, you could be a man, a powerful conqueror and even more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus, man. You hang around some weak folk that don't know Jesus, amen. You will find out you'll be weak as a chicken. Our gospel lesson this morning is one of the greatest compliments that has ever been Amen. Given to the body of Christ, individually and collectively. Uh -huh. You are the salt of the earth. Yes, 
Ministry. That's what he's saying. You are the light of the world. Lifestyle. You are a city that sit upon a hill. Amen. You are elevated for the purpose of God. If you don't understand that, you'll sit there and act like a chicken. Amen. You can't understand eagle talk. Amen. You'll get upset with someone who talks as bold as I do about the goodness of God and then stand up and declare what thus said the Lord. That's eagle talk. You will sit there and get upset with me because you will say I act like I'm too bold or too arrogant, but it is not arrogance. I know who I am and I have embraced. Being characterized as salt and light in a city that's set up on a hill is honorable, humbling, and yet very complicated and challenging. These are some big shoes to fill. That's why everybody can't fill them. Amen. Amen. They talk about preachers every day. Amen. And all of it ain't bad talk. Amen. 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 See, you got to know what to take in. Amen. See, when they talk about preachers in a negative way, you got to dispel it. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. But when they're talking and encouraging, you see, some people are natural born encouragers. That's right. Amen. That's, right. That's what mothers are. That's right. A good mother knows how to encourage her child. Right. Don't you know? Amen. She already knows when she sends, amen, that little child off to school, amen, amen, sometimes packing his lunch or making sure, hoping he got bigger brothers and sisters, amen, to be protected of them because they know that they're going to be absent from parental care. And what they do is they assign one of the brothers or sisters, amen, to watch after them when they go. You know, it's something else to send your little baby out into the world, isn't it? Amen. Let them catch a school bus. And most of us, amen, we couldn't afford it back then. But we were sending them out on the school bus. Now, some of you, amen, allow your mothers and grandmothers, amen, to take them to school and then sit in the class with them and watch them. But it ain't always been the case, amen. So mothers have a great job, challenge. These are some big shoes. This declaration and call on our lives is not a question about who we, amen, will become or some simple attribute that we might someday acquire. It is a matter of who we already are. I did a funeral for a white lady, amen, not too long ago. Amen, she was a dorch. Amen, and she came and started coming to this church Said, and they said they love the black music. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And, 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 they, and they would sit here. But, but she loved more than black music. Well, she said they didn't really like all souls up there because they didn't like Obama. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they would tell me, they, said, they don't like Obama and I just can't go in there. And I said, okay. I said, well, you can keep coming down to Mount Moriah. Yeah, Having a problem when she died, her daughter came uh -huh. and wanted us to do the service out on their porch no. on the lake. So I want to thank Mount Moriah, the choir, and, and those of you that went. You, you became mobile. You became a mobile church. Yeah. And, and we went over and we worshiped and praised God. Yeah. But there was a word that the Lord allowed me to use over there with them. And, 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 and that word was, I said, all oh, we Scotonians. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. And I had to make up that, but it came to me. Yeah. Amen. Because, <laughs> amen. And after, the, after I said that and talked about how we should share and help each other, they brought me keys to every lake down here. Well, <laughs> John D. said, you are too important in our community not to have a key in when they killed the black preacher over in South Carolina, it was her that called me at 6.30 in the morning. And she said, Jimmy, are you all right? <laughs> I said, yeah. 
She said, I, when they killed him, I thought about you, Jimmy. You got to be careful, blank, blank, blank. <laughs> and, I, and, 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 and this is the thing. This is the thing. Amen. You, you got to realize that when it's your time, though. Yes, you know, that's right. Amen. Amen. That's Esther told a story the other day about a man that was in Baghdad. Amen. That heard that death was after him. He asked his king to give him a horse, and he rode the horse to Egypt. Yeah. Amen. And said, when death came, amen, the king saw death and said, Death, what are you doing here? You look for my place. He said, No, I got an appointment with your servant tomorrow in Egypt. Yeah. So, see, sometimes, amen, you can't get away from death. Death's going to show up, amen, where he's going to show up. And when it's your time, you might as well get ready to suit up. Amen. Because whatever you got on, I don't care how they fix you up up here, whatever prettiest suit they want you to wear. Amen. When you die, you dead. That's it. That's it. Yeah, they can make you look good. Yeah. I've heard people tell me, don't let nobody touch you. I said, he, he won't know. <laughs> hey man, don't let nobody kiss it. Who want to kiss a dead person? But the baby, I said, I, I'll tell him what you say if that's what you want. Hey man, but it ain't, it ain't all about that. Hey man. Amen. Here in this text, we're dealing with the point that we are special to God. Yes, hey man. Amen. Amen. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. You are a city that sit upon a hill. Amen. You got to embrace who you are. These words of affirmation are used to describe who Christ's followers are and what, amen, they are called to be and do in the world. Mothers and fathers who love God. Amen. When Jesus, amen, gave his sermon on the mount. Amen. which include this passage of scripture. Amen. He was speaking to his disciples and to the crowd that, amen, gathered among them. Amen. This was a message that was not just about ethical principles, rules of living. He was addressing a people who were exiled. The Roman Empire had occupied Israel's land even though the people of Israel had physically returned to the land. The exile continued the land, the city, the temple were still, amen, under the rule of Rome. That's right. They began to raise, amen, complicated questions as we do, amen, when we cannot see or understand where God is at work. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. Why is this happening to us? Yes. God all of a sudden did something for us that we had never seen, never imagined. Yes. And then we counted it off as a fluke. Yes. We didn't understand that God was saying that you're special to me. You ought to come together. But we couldn't come together because, amen, they had used a chemical compound, amen, we call drugs. I don't care if it comes in the form of crack, heroin, cocaine, whatever, meth, whatever it was, marijuana. But they had used drugs to make sure that they divide us where we would be indecisive about what was taking place. Obama was elected by God. We didn't do it. Some of us, amen, the old folks will tell you real quick, fast, and I hurt. I never imagined in my lifetime to see a black man as the president in the White House. And see, some of us downplay people so we deprive ourselves. We hinder ourselves. We're special to God. Yeah, yeah. Why would God give us a black man to put in the white house? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. He really wasn't able to come in your community, was he? No, no, no. But look at what it did hey. from a world view. Yeah. It allowed the whole world to see yeah. the wisdom and the intellect. Hey. Yes, amen. Yes, sir. Let them see, amen, the righteousness. A man of caring. A man who was humble and then a man who could still
still look beyond people's faults and see their needs. Amen. When, when, when people, the speaker of the House, Boehner, said that he was going to be a one-term president, Obama never retaliated. Obama, amen, was humble, and he made sure to let it know. Now, he got him straight off camp. But there's a way to engage. And we got to learn how to love each other. Our greatest obstacle in life is not trusting blacks. Oh, we got to, they did a job on us. Amen. Y'all thought they were just, amen, playing a positional game. House niggas. Yard niggas. Feel me. Yeah. They were playing a game. And some of y'all don't act like you like that word nigga. I can say it in here. Get out of your wife. Hey Amen. Y'all want me to be proper with it. Negro. Negro. Hey man, cut your radio on and listen to any circle of songs you're going to hear. You yeah, nigga so many times that it's gay. White folk, that's why they don't listen to your station. Because it says nigga too many times. And they think that if they get out of their car singing and rapping, they'll say it before they know it. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's, a, it's real out here. We got to be real with people. Stop all these games. Games ain't getting you nowhere. Church to learn about Jesus. What do we want to learn about Jesus? We want to learn his character. We want to learn his righteousness. We want to learn what he told us and how he told us to live. If he tell you to love thy neighbor as thyself, amen, that is the second and continues on. He said the first command to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, mind, and strength. And likewise, So he said, you would know my disciples by their what? Toward one and another. See, when you don't know how to love each other in here and come up with isms and schisms in here, that means that somebody is not studying. Somebody is not reading. Somebody is really not applying who they are. Yes, yes, these are the questions. Amen. And fear that caused division yeah. and anxiety. So it was with the children of Israel. So Jesus preached this sermon on the mount to encourage the children of Israel to remember who they were. Yeah. He wanted them not to withdraw and resign in fear and disillusion. That's right. See, when you can't come to church and you talk about the church, guess what? If you talk about the church, you ain't gonna come up. That's right. Yeah. That's right. If you cut the preachers, the deacons, the mothers, the members, yeah. you, ain't, you ain't planning on staying here. Yeah. And if you ain't planning on staying, why don't you leave now? And not allow us to go through the pain of letting you cut us off. <laughs> Amen. Don't try to use us as an excuse not to come. You ought to came just as you were. Weary, wound, and sad. You ought to came admitting what you were. You were a sinner, a wretch undone. And you heard the voice of Jesus saying, Come unto me all. Oh, don't, don't, don't come here and try to make us your excuse. Yeah, you need to go use somebody else. Yeah, yeah, we, we ain't got time for that. We, we, it's a serious thing that we're about. It's serious. This is serious. You think <laughs> generations and generations before you set up a church named Mount Moriah? Then you research the name Mount Moriah. It was the sacred mount. It was Mount Zion. They changed the name three times. 
And it was on Mount Moriah that Solomon built the house of God. Somebody thought it through when they built it out in the middle of a thing. You gonna sit here and go to a church and don't even know what it means. That's right. What is the Man, I'm gonna tell you. Life is short. Yes, yes. They were being reminded that they were called to be a holy nation, a people of moral principles. They were a community of faith that was being called to act justly and to love mercy while walking humbly with their God. They were to be a voice for the voiceless, to be concerned about the plight of others and not to become comfortable with their status quo. That's why I love my mother so. My mama cared, amen? Even though sometimes she was talked about, lied on, beauty and scum, but what she did was she stayed in church. She made sure she would tell it like it did, and she would make her sacrifices to help other folk that really, amen, sometimes, from my observation, didn't deserve But she was there. That's who it was. That's who she believed in. She believed in the God. Amen. And she was trying to be where he was. Isn't it something? When you really know where you got to go. Amen. You'll try to do what you have to do to prepare to be there. Amen. If you, if you, amen, were going to take a trip to California, you would make sure you had enough money. Yeah. And a, a transportation yeah. that was a man readily available and good enough to get you there. Yes, sir. You you wouldn't a man jump in uh, old jalopy, <laughs> a man yeah. something that was missing, yeah. smoking, yeah. and head out to California, yeah. twenty four hour drive. And you're going to get into something that you know might quit on you any minute. See, that's what I'm telling Christians. If you want to go to heaven, amen, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what the Lord had in store for you. Amen. They just tell me they got streets paved with gold. Amen. They got a lake in the middle. Amen. And every gate is, amen, laced with emeralds and rubies and sapphires. I'm saying if you want to go to heaven, you better make sure you make preparations. The Reverend the Butler used to sing a song, a preacher message, amen, a prepared place. Yes, sir. For prepared people. Yes, you got to get prepared down here. Amen. So Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. Yes. You are the light of the world. The city that sit on the hill. Yes. In other words, embrace who you are. Right. And remembering who they were, they were challenged to not hate and resist their enemies, uh -huh. but to love and pray for them. Y'all yeah. get that? Yeah. Some of those of you that's been going to church a, lot, a long time, and you still talking about you hating on folk. Yeah. Amen. You got to see, you got to embrace who you are. Yes, All that hating, it, it ain't hurting the person you hate. No, no. It's killing you. It's killing you. Some of y'all hating on white folk. Hey, man. They going to the bank laughing. You looking at them frying it all up? You think they care? No, no. They ain't upset about that. No, no. Amen. Are you killing each other? Hey, that's right. oh, Amen. Amen. They making plain. Come on, you think they care about that? No. no. See, they already know. They don't have to do anything to you no more. Once they got it started, <laughs> you will, amen, continue with yourself. You won't come together because the only thing they could get concerned about if you learn how to love each other, and if you learn how to love each other unconditionally, then they will start looking around. See, it messes with them when they ask us, what 
do you think about Obama? I think Obama's a great president. What he what has he done? <laughs> they don't want you to brag no. on him. Yes, sir. No. Hey man, they want you to down him. Yeah. But then they find out we ain't downing him. Yeah. Yeah. We ain't downing the brother. Amen. Hey man. Amen. The brother got it going on. Yeah. Hey man. Yeah. Meeting the queen. The grandchildren of the queen. Yeah. He's a popular individual. Yeah. And guess what color he is. Yeah. But most of all, I know that he's a child of the living God. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Yeah. We know he's a Christian. And he know who he is. Yeah. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yes. Remembering who they were. Amen. They were challenged to not to hate and resist their enemy, but to love them and pray for them. Yeah. They were to confront the empire, proclaiming and living out God's justice. See, that's what messes spoke up. Amen. As long as they didn't fight the Roman Empire, but amen, love life in each other. Yeah. The Roman Empire was going to have to not become at ease. And they were going to have to stay on God. Yeah. That's where we got a problem at. How can you hate blackness? Well, yes, and be black. James yeah. yeah. Brown saved me, yeah. 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 They were calling me chocolate flavor. Yes, sir. <laughs> Making it sound like because I was black and nappy headed, I, I was beneath the folk who had curly hair and light yeah. complexion. Yeah. But when James Brown come on, he said, Say it loud! I'm black and I'm proud. So y'all already know. He excited me about being black. Some of my own folk were, hey amen, degrading black. James said, Say it loud! He was black and he was proud. Hey amen. Yes, yes, we have to proclaim the word of God, yes, the justice. And, and like Israel, if we are the salt of the earth and the light of the world, uh -huh. how are we to live? How are we to confront the empire in which we live? Yeah. Let's look at the met this metaphor, salt. Salt is used to alter or enhance food. Yeah. It makes food come alive by bringing out the best flavors. Salt is used as a preservative in keeping food fresh for longer periods of time. And I, I know some of y'all say, well, salt kills you. Uh, appreciate that. Not the sodium content of processed food is going to kill you. See, that's, that's something that they've introduced. They know that a meat has no shelf life. Right. So to preserve it, they inject oh, sodium in it. Yeah. Y'all gotta understand that. You, you gotta see if you don't understand that. You are talking about they talking about chitlins gonna kill you, Reverend. No. Ain't no chitlin gonna kill me. <laughs> if I get one of you sisters to cook it right, a general ain't cooking it. Put some vinegar in it and some other little special ingredients. I might be able to eat two servings about every two months. I'm soliciting somebody right now. Amen. See, I got some other chicken eaters in the house. Amen. Multiplicity of uses. Salt, amen, melts ice on the street, sidewalks, and driveways. Amen. Not only does it penetrate and preserve and then restores, but, but, but it also, amen, there's light. Yeah. It enables us to see things that we would not otherwise see. Yeah. Light is energy. Right. that gives things color. It provides solar power for electricity as followers of Christ. Yeah. We ought to have 
an antiseptic influence uh -huh. on life. Yes. Church, antiseptic influence. Right. See, some of our people are on drugs. Some of them are hooked on not only drugs, but some of them are hooked on carnality. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? That's right. Some of them have become gluttonous. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Levels of obesity are running rapid in our society. Yeah. Some of them are hooked on alcohol. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And, and in the process, we got to be antiseptic in our pursuit to help them to get off of some of the stuff that they've gotten on to. The trap even widens and get deeper. See, when we are depressed about something, we are run toward a means of escape. And they use drugs as a means of escape. Alcohol as a means of escape. Sex as a means of escape. Money as a means of escape. But you don't get out. Uh -huh. The only way you can get out well, is you got to turn toward the light. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 You got to turn toward the light. Yes, Amen. As followers of Christ, we, we have to have an antiseptic influence on life. Right. Church, we ought to be seeking ways to breaking down the barriers that separate us one from another. Yes. We ought to be beacons of light yes. in those places where darkness triumphs over hope. Uh -huh. My brothers and sisters, our faithfulness and our works ought to encourage others to do good. Yes. I'm going to tell you something. If you want me to be around somebody, I'm hanging around folk that love God. I'm hanging around folk that don't lie to me every two seconds. I'm not kidding you. Amen. Amen. I'm hanging around people. Amen. What would much rather do good than to do evil. I'm hanging around folk that love God. They go to church every chance they can. That's who I'm hanging around. I can't hang around folk who don't love God. Because if they don't love God, they can't love me. A woman married to a man that has no relationship with the Lord. Amen. Made a covenant with God and them in a marriage. Amen. Ceremony. Amen. Is fooling not only you, but he's fooling himself. He has to have a relationship with God. Amen. If God is love. Amen. How can you say you love God? Yeah. Whom you've not seen right. and hate your brother. Yeah. Amen. Whom you see today. Yeah. You can't tell me you hate blackness. Yeah. Yeah. And then you love God. Yeah. You fooling yourself. You ain't fooling me. Yeah. You got a major problem. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Come on. Black folk can hurt me. Uh -huh. you, that's the symptom. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Amen. 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 That, that, that's not the source. The source is depravity. The source is inequality. The source of why blacks are hard on blacks is because of they've been deprived. They've, they've been, amen, put in a situation where they've been taught to distrust, dishonor. Yes, and disrespect their own. Yes, Come on now. Yes, don't, don't, don't kill them. Yeah. Don't, kill the don't kill them. They, they victims. Yes. That's what Jesus said. Father, forgive them. Yes, for they know not what they do. Yes, Isn't that what Stephen said? Yes. When they were stoning him to death. Yes, Stephen knew that, amen, they wasn't the power. The power was the world. Yeah. The Roman Empire and the religious order of the day. Yeah. They didn't control anything. Yeah. And I tell all of you, be careful when you deal with people. Yeah. Hey Amen. On this Mother's Day, yeah. teach your sons and daughters. Yeah. Hey Amen. How to serenade people. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is sophisticated life in which we live. Cheering. I've been taught just to say yeah uh -huh. and no. Uh 
Teach him how to say yes, sir. That's yes, right. Yes, ma'am. That's right. No, ma'am. That's right. No, sir. No, sir. Please. 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 Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you, you. You got to teach them that. <clears throat> and, 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 and you if they don't get it at home, then the church have to become the vehicle by which we demonstrate and teach that. Amen. Some of us older people, amen, when a child does something for you, you ought to say, thank you, young man. Thank you. Young man. Teach them, demonstrate it before them so that when they get out and around you, they will then exhibit those characteristics, amen, because this system in which we live is geared, amen, and if they disrespect the system, the system will come down. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yes, Lord. So, 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 so that all people in all nations can know and experience God's justice and mercy. Amen. It is by the grace of God yes, that we are called to preserve healthy relationships, work for peace, repair torn lives in our communities. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't got to go far to help somebody. Yeah. I bet you got a neighbor that you ain't spoke to. <laughs> I tell you what you'll do though, you'll watch it. <laughs> Some of your wonder shades have gotten torn. <laughs> That's how you do it. Two fingers. <laughs> I found in life that sometimes you got to make friends with folk that, amen, that you would know that are not compatible, but you make friends with them. Why? Why? Because I gotta let my light shine. Yes, Amen. Yes. I'm the salt of the earth. Yes. I'm the light of the world. Yes. Amen. I'm a house set upon the hill. Yes. It's about ministry. It's about amen influence. It's about amen elevation. I got to get them to come up from the, where they are to come up higher so they can see more clearly. That's what the eagle did when he flew up. He could see a whole lot better being up looking down. When I was in the circle of the world, I learned this. They trained me how to be a plaster shot. Y'all used to melt about me how I push them wheelbars. But I knew one day if I just kept pushing them wheelbars, that was a whole lot better than being in the field chopping God clearing new ground, cutting yards all day on set. <laughs> I could make enough money in the day doing what I was doing. Amen. And it was my dad that could pay me. Amen. And then they would even compliment me if I got good at it. If, if I would run toward work instead of running from work. So whenever there was something needed, I would articulate in my mind and I would run to get a wheelbarrow and ask them, you need some more work? And then run to the next one and dump some over there. And I did it repetitiously every day. They said, boy, we want to train you to become a plaster. Them all the guys that I was helping, hey, amen, they said, ain't nobody ever worked like you. Hey, amen. I said, if you had been where I've been, <laughs> I've been on the Ben Hopper plantation, the border plantation. I know what it means to go out and sweat. You understand? So, amen, as I kept laboring, amen, they elevated me to a plaster and doing my apprenticeship, a three-year indenturement, amen, I won the apprentice of the year 1976, went to Hollywood, Florida in trial trades competition, won that, came back, amen, I ain't, I ain't no joke, I already understand how to work, you don't have to worry about how to work, I work in it. Yeah. Yeah. I clean up the floors in here. I paint the building. I fix your roof. I ain't got ain't no ain't no shame in my game. Some of y'all worry about working. All they want to do is get you down there to work. If you wasn't so lazy. <laughs> Man. So lame. 
How much you doing too much work? You getting old. If I get old and I can't go on top of the building, I can still walk around in here. I can still take a paintbrush and spot up some holes. You see what I'm saying? Stop playing games. Hey man, I, I found out even in my mother's lifetime, my sisters were crying. How much she ought to retire. Mama didn't live very long after her retirement. Hey man. And see, I'm going to tell you something. I just believe that if mama would have kept working. Yeah. Amen. Something that she loved to do. Yeah. She'd have been focused on something worthwhile instead of sitting around there looking at that. <laughs> Amen. Because daddy was another chore. He was another kind of chore. Amen. Amen. People don't understand. Amen. You, you got to realize what's taking place. But mama had to go. Hello? Mama had to go. I gotta say it. I cried. I weep. I go over to the cemetery and look at the grave two or three times a week. But she wasn't there. And I had to realize mama ain't over there. Her a physical body is in a grave over there. But mama gone. But the Bible said to be absent from the body to be present with the Lord. I had to learn that. Yeah, that's right. Jesus. Yeah. That's right. Learn how to talk to mama. Yes, sir. And I wouldn't be in the cemetery either. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I could be in my car. That's right. In my house. Asking her questions that I'd asked her before. Yes. Those are the things you got to learn. Amen. Yes, sir. You, you got to embrace who you are. Yes, yes sir. Amen. Physical restraints don't restrain her now. Yes, and in this lesson, Jesus wants us to embrace who we are to allow us to know physical does not restrain us. We become spiritual beings. Amen. It is by the grace of God that we are called to what we are. Jesus says, ye are the salt, ye are the light. Amen. You are a city. And he was simply saying, embrace who you are. Yeah. Only believe now. Yeah. I find it really curious that Jesus said, if the salt lose, it's safe. Uh -huh. How can it be made salty? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mount Moriah, you can lose your saltiness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can lose it. Yes, sir. On this Mother's Day, celebrating mothers. Yes, sir. You can lose your saltiness. Yes, sir. You can lose it by just stopping from embracing the will of God. Yes, sir. As long as you engage uh -huh. in what you're supposed to be doing for the Lord, yes. you will still maintain your influence. Yes, Amen. Amen. Your ability to change lives. Yes, but when you withdraw from encouraging and being a part of the active move of God, Yes, then you lose your flame. Yes, he said, when you lose it, you're good for nothing. Better to be cast out and trodden underfoot from me. Kenneth didn't handle all I can give him today. Well, let, me, let me get rid of the clothes. Well, amen. amen. I found in light that all of us preachers, deacons, uh -huh. mothers, members can become discouraged. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. But to live for Christ well, is that simple yes, and that difficult. Yeah. But Jesus didn't come to lead us out of the world. Well, uh -huh. But to show us how to live in it. Yes, yes. Amen. What a challenge. He called us to labor. Yes, to live in a world. Yes, sir. What an opportunity. I remember a story about Martin Luther. The great Protestant reformer. Regarding his ministry and challenges. Yes. He faced. He felt discouraged. Yes. And overwhelmed with the troubles of his time. Uh -huh. He would touched his forehead and said to him, said, Martin, be calm. You are baptized. Yeah. Church, in these times of great challenge, doubt, inner turmoil, helplessness, and anxiety, and fear. Uh -huh. 
-huh. Embrace who you are. Amen. Amen. And you're more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. Yes, we can do like Martin Luther. Yes. We can touch our forehead. Yeah. And remember who we are. Yes, and say, I am, I am the salt the of spirit. the earth. Yeah. Yeah. You can say, I am, I am the light of the world. Yeah. Yeah. I, am I am a city that sit upon the hill. Yeah. Cannot be hid. Oh, yeah. Preachers and members, the Christian message is not that we have to try to act like salt. Yeah. We don't have to look like salt. Yeah. We don't even have to act like light or even act a man like light. Yeah. The Christian message is that Jesus said yeah. we are the salt of the earth. And when he said we are, what he simply says, this is who you really are. Yeah. It ain't what people say about you or what a man people write about you. It is the fact that if you accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you are the salt of the earth. Ain't God all right? I found out when you live the life before men, women, boys, and girls, you'll realize that you are the light of the world. A city that sit upon a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and hide it up under the bush. I heard the Lord say, let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify amen the father in heaven i don't know about you but i get joy when i think about the goodness of jesus and all he's done for me every step i take every move i make i just say thank you thank you for another day's journey. It was the loud that woke me up early this morning. Started me on my way. Ain't God all right? It was God when I was unfit to live. Too mean to die. Stop by. Amen. And reach way down. Lifted me up. From the muck and molly, place my feet on a solid rock to stand. It was God, but I could see my way through hell hounds were on my trail. He told me one day, don't allow folk to chart your course. Your your walk uh, already laid out. Uh, he said, uh, I uh, have a comforter uh, that will lead you, uh, guide you. Uh, I read uh, in the Old Testament, uh, it said, The steps of a good man uh, are ordered by the Lord. Uh, and though he stumble, uh, he will not fall. Uh, Ain't God all right? Uh, because the loud uh, upholding him uh, with a powerful hand. Uh, good evening. Uh, if I was going to live, uh, I'd praise who I am uh, and follow Jesus uh, who 